Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these dainty seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm sure you're going to be able to do them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell. In this way you will be notified when I make these absolutely free tutorials usually twice or three times a week. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support. I can't thank you enough for this one. Check description for useful resources, also a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay, my friends, and what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads, white, light pink, dark pink and red. Here I'm also using earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. Don't use soft nylon thread for this work because it won't keep its shape. Here I'm using size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm taking here in my first step are 42 of these beautiful seed beads in light pink color. I'm taking 42 of them. I'm sliding them down almost until the end of my work, leaving a small tail. And now what I want to do is go backwards through all of them. Backwards like in a circle. Okay, I have this. Then what I want to do next is go through the rest of them and reach this end here, the other end of my thread. Okay, and now guys, my main thread and my tail thread meet here at this place and I want to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull like this. Then what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction after my knot, like this. At this point I'm going to take three red beads and as I'm exiting here I'm skipping the next two beads that are on my way and I'm going through the fourth one. You see I'm skipping two and going in the fourth one. So I'm exiting out of this, skip those two and go in the fourth one. Okay, and as I'm exiting here, I'm taking three red beads and again I'm skipping two and going through the fourth one. And when I pull I have three red beads. Three again, skip two and go in the next one. Okay guys, and I think you get the idea. Continue this until the end and meet me here. It is absolutely the same thing. 
pick up three, skip two and go through the following. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from the beginning and repeat, repeat, repeat until the end. Okay, and here I am guys where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I'm going here in the last light pink bead. You know you work correctly if you here have the space for these three beads. I mean, you exit out of one, you go through two, and then you go through this one, and you have exactly one bead space between this loop of beads and this one, the first one and the last one. Okay, and I also went through this red one when I was going through the light pink, and now I will go also through this red that is sticking out the most. I take three pink beads and go in the next red that is sticking out, the middle one of the three, then again three, go here in this one, again three, And I'm going to continue these guys absolutely the same way until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue going in circle and adding 3 beads, here I am at my last step and I'm adding my last 3 beads here. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is go through these two pink beads and go here in the middle one of those three beads, okay? I'm exiting out of this one, which is the middle one. And here I need five seed beads. And as I'm exiting from this one, the middle of the three, I'm going here again in the middle of the three beads that I have. Okay, then I have five beads again. Go here in the central one. Five again. Go in the center. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end and I'll meet you here at the last step. Okay, so I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And you see where I add it? At the very first step, at the very first bead that I started my row from. Okay, now since I have this, I want to go through these three beads in this direction. And when I go through three beads, I'm exiting in the middle bead of these five that I added in my previous step. And as I'm exiting here, I want to go back through the same bead, through the same central bead. And now you see what I have. I have a loop between this bead and these three newly added ones. Then I go through one bead in this direction and I want to take just one white bead and go here in the second and in the third dark pink beads if you count from the center. Okay, now I have this. Again, I'm here exiting out of the, the middle bead of those five that I have and I'm going back in circle through it like this. Then I go through this one here and I take one white and I go here through the second and the third pink bead counting from the center, dark pink bead. Three light pink beads, 
go back like this and also just to save time through the next pink that's coming on your way now i am one dark pink bead away from the angle here and i need one white bead Again, I go through the second and third dark pink bead counting from the angle. Okay, and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. Here I add three beads of pink color and here I add one bead, one white bead. And I will continue this and meet you here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat until the end. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, and here I am, guys, where I need to add my last bead from this row. And I'm adding it here at the second bead that I have. The second one counting from the center like I did before. I went through this one. Now I want to go here in the center through the one that's sticking out, you see, this one. Take three white beads and go here in this white that's in the center. Three whites again and go in this pink that is sticking out the most. Three whites go in this white, three again go in the central pink, three whites go in the white, and three whites and go in the pink. And this row, as you may see, is really easy and really pleasant. Just add three beads here, 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 everywhere, and I'll meet you at this point. Okay, guys, and when I continue this, here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. You see now where I am. I'm exiting out of this uh, pink bead here at the top. And then I go through these two white beads. I want to take just one red bead. And I want to go also through these two white beads. And I'm one white bead away from the angle, you see. Okay, this is what I have here. I'm going to take three white beads. Uh, skip this pink here at the center and go in the next white beads take one red again go through the second and the third white counting from the center three white beads go in the next two whites one red again the same step okay three whites again go in the next two and i will continue these guys until the end of this row again if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat these steps again and again and i'll meet you here at the end okay so here i am guys where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and what i want to do now is exit here through the red bead and through the white after that okay i'm exiting here through this white one if you don't see my thread and I'm going to take two red beads, my earring finding, and two red beads. And as I'm exiting here, I go symmetrically through the same place. Okay. 
like this through the white bead that is next to the red. Now I have this. Then what I need to do guys is to reinforce my work here. Okay, and you can reinforce it one or two times, as many times as you can. And when you're ready, go and find a place to make a knot. Okay, how I do this, I make a loop here. Then I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made, just like this. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And then I will go through some beads in this direction. And after that I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my large dainty seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way you will know when I make new absolutely free tutorials like this. You could also check description for full list of materials other useful resources, a link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perk that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me!